Dr. Elizabeth Donner says medication is the common way to manage seizures, but pills don't work for everyone. For up to 30% of people living with epilepsy, medication does not work to control seizures. And for those people, epilepsy can be very debilitating. Different treatments are needed for these patients. One family trying to help their teenager was able to try a groundbreaking procedure here at SickKids. In some cases, doctors consider removing portions of the brain, but it wasn't an option in this case. His seizures were arising from the part of the brain that controls the movement on one side of his body. So if we were to proceed with surgery in that area, we would have left him with very significant weakness on one side of his body. Instead, the team opted to insert a responsive neurostimulator system into the boy's brain. It allows us to leave that part of the brain intact and deliver stimulation to the area specifically to try and control the seizures. Pediatric neurosurgeon Dr. George Ibrahim performed the surgery in August 2023. The hospital says this was the first time it was done in Canada. It can record activity directly from the brain and it actually responds to that activity in real time. So in some sense, it's actually highly personalized to an individual's brain. Gary Collins is the CEO of Epilepsy Canada. His epilepsy can be controlled by medication, but he's hopeful this new treatment will help those who need another option. I'm very, very happy and optimistic that this, again, will be another methodology that will prove successful. The family did not want to appear on camera, but SickKid says the teen is doing well. These procedures were allowed under a federally regulated program that gives special approval for medication or procedures that have not received full approval. It has been approved for adults in the United States who meet certain criteria. Catherine Ward, Global News.